chicken. Hi, everybody. I didn't realize how good spicy mustard tastes with it. Yeah. Mustard and pretzels. Mustard tastes good on everything. Well, like, it's just weird because, like, like, I've never had pretzels and mustard. But, like, once you, once you, once that combination hits, you're like, oh. No, I didn't like mustard as a kid. That's the thing. But spicy mustard is okay. Oh, so, yeah. So, even, yeah, 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 yeah. It's like my old man sense is kicking in. It's like. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> you probably ordered me and, like, shut the hell up, you. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, final part of tonight's episode twenty, episode twenty-two of Fair Wanderings. Uh, what, what, what's happening? We all heading out of the war room now. I think so. Okay. Uh, let's let's follow um, let's follow Andrella for a little bit. So you just go to chase after your brother, correct? Um. Well, so I'm like, uh, Taman, but then I'm like, uh, Otto. I can't just leave him. I've got him. Yeah? Okay, thank you. Uh, yeah, now I'm going to go chase Otto after Otto looks my very uncomfortable. <laughs> Come on, Otto. Let's go have a chat. <laughs> yeah, you see me like, sucker. As I keep going, it's like, hey, uh, Big Chief, I need a, may I have a word with you in private? About the new he, fort. He nods, and Vana just like looks around nervously and just kind of like sheepishly follows very far behind Cecilia. <laughs> yeah, no, I think I just like I, I, I just looked back and I'm like, I, if if you want to just go to my room and meet, uh, I'll 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 be there in a little bit. Okay, see you there. So Andrella, you you run out into the streets. Mm -hmm. You see your brother you moving through the crowd at some distance away. It looked like he moved pretty quickly. Okay, I'm gonna chase after him. So. Yeah, um, you come around, he comes around a corner and, like, stops and just looks for a second as you, like, catch up to him, but he's not looking at you. He's looking down the street. Mm hmm Okay. Taman. Yeah. What? What's wrong? Why why were you that angry? He claims to have accidentally made a bodok. I don't know what that is. It's a um undead monster that is what happens when a soul's ripped out of a body. And then the body's desecrated. Ripped? don't know much about them. I just know they exist. And they're not good. I told you I saw her, right? I saw her yeah. soul. I mean, that means her soul's not there. That's good. Mm -hmm. It does mean they killed her. And tortured her. I shouldn't have let her stay behind, and I'm so sorry. You could not stop her if you tried. She's more stubborn than even you. If I threatened not to leave the city, she would have had no choice. I don't know. It sounds like she probably saved your life. Either way. It's not fair that she had to die to do it. Everyone dies eventually. Are you sorry, Taman? What are you sorry for? 
all this is apparently my fault. No, it's not. It is. That don't witch lady wanted my soul. Don't blame the actions of someone terrible on yourself. I had, um, I had hoped that I might be able to ask you to, to go with me. But. Give it a new baby. Uh -huh. And. This is dangerous. I'll come if you need me to, but I just know what you're asking me. Will you come after I've secured the city to hold it? There's a perfect bridge between Vosen Land and the Jade Horde, and you have the ability to sort of be claim on both sides and you can take over command of the forces there. Okay. I'll try. Okay. I think that's when you hear cheering. Is there a holiday today? points to a column of people coming down the street some distance away. A parade? I don't know. Do they randomly have celebrations here? Not often. At the very front of the procession, you see the seal of Vossenland with the sword and the wings that we saw from the like pre-scene. Mm -hmm. pre Tainan, do you see that? Yep. This can't be good. Will you come with me to figure out what it is? Mm -hmm. Sure. Diagonal wipe to Cecilia. Uh, yeah. Um, so, uh, I think I just take him somewhere off, like, I don't know if, like, 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 like not, not like a untaken room or anything, but just, like, down you take the... take somewhere that nobody else is. Yeah. Yeah, just, like, like... Room or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not, yeah. It, I don't, like take him away and hide him it's just like it's like down a hall that no one usually goes Into down closet. <laughs> right yeah, yeah yeah it's just I, we're just off um and i like you pull him inside of a broom closet <laughs> start banging him at the brooms like, gah, gah. Uh, <laughs> yeah so I, yeah i like it's one kind of banging um oh. uh, <laughs> yes yeah, so i'm like kind of just dragging him along <laughs> uh and then once we get there I like just let him stand on his own and I like lean back, cross my arms and lean back on a leg. Just like give him a look for a second. You just need to know if you try to kill me, the spell ends. <laughs> Cause I know you're thinking about it and I would be thinking about it too. That's... But if you kill me, the spell ends and I'll run away. That's what you think this is? I've learned to be suspicious of people. I'm sorry. Probably. Would you like to prove me wrong? We're the ones that should be suspicious of you! Why? Why?! <laughs> How about the two syllables that made- that made Taman run off? I didn't mean to do that. Right. You didn't mean 
to make a bodak when you were doing the ritual that was meant to steal Andrella's soul. That I intentionally... I, there's no way I can make this sound good. What do you want from me? That's my point. That's my yeah, point. There's no way I can make this sound good. That's my point. That's why we're all suspicious of you. Okay. You know why I'm suspicious of you? Why? Because you put a geese on me. What was I going to do? I don't know. Kill me, ask for my help. Just about anything other than, you know, have a geus. <clears throat> I can't disobey her commands now. Like, that's that's the, the, the reality. I'm her... Do you blame her? No, I do exactly the same thing. Well, there you go! But it sucks! Okay. You know what else sucks? We have to go to Iken and kill the body of her former bodyguard because you messed up a ritual. I didn't want to feed the lich, okay? Yeah, I get that. It's like That's why you're... Sure. No one wins. You're alive and you have this chance because you did that. You have a chance. The re the, what, it, happens at, what happens when the 30 days are shush. up? Shush! The reason I dragged you over here to have this conversation with you. What do you want to happen? have happen after the kiosk is up? Do you just want to leave? Do you what? You can talk now. It's okay. I don't know. I, you know, I was getting kind of resigned to the fact that I was going to die in a dungeon. Well, um, maybe you don't have to now. It's hard to snap back, okay? Okay. I'm not convinced I'm going to live through this either. Yeah, say you do. Do you want Andrella and us to trust you. I feel like that would make this entire arrangement a lot easier. Okay. Why were you trying to hold back when explaining things? Would you like to tell someone that you murdered their best friend? I probably would. You would like to tell someone I that you... <laughs> it would, would you depend. like to tell someone that you broke their friend's soul? Well, I wouldn't do that, but... Let's say you did. My for, for argument's sake, let's say you did. Even if you didn't mean to, let's say you did. The thing is, we're not going to trust you if you're holding stuff back like that. Would you like me to vomit forth every secret I have? No. But when we say what happened and you're sitting there only explaining it because you're magically forced to, it doesn't give us much hope that you're trying to help us. You don't, we don't, I don't need to hear your whole entire life story. I don't need to hear what, that you, that you stole a cookie from the, from the tray when you were five. That doesn't matter right now. If we're talking about what if we're talking about have we ever stolen cookies and you sit there I and almost eighty people and I can seventy-six. Okay. I mm, that means most of them were my people. Okay. All what I'm saying Because I wanted the attack to fail. Can you just trust me on that? Okay. You I'm I'm not trying to kill you right now, right? You have this chance. I'm telling you that because you have a chance. You can take this chance and try to get us to trust you and be happy to have you helping us. Or you can 
drag your feet through this, and once it's done, fuck off. Whatever you want to do is fine. I'm just telling you that if you want the former, if you want us to actually trust you and not need to use stuff like a gias on you, having the gias be the only reason you give us information that we're asking for is not the way to do it. Okay. Thank you. We know that all of this is very, very bad, and you've done some bad things. I don't... It, it, I haven't had time to get to know you. I don't know if you can or want to get better at that, make amends for it, but it, it seems like you're trying, or you at least want this to go well. I, I'm just here to stop a witch. Okay, then... If you don't want to stop a lich, that's fine. We're, no, we're, we'll have to go our separate ways. We're going to. Just saying, you don't like the chain or the rope or whatever it, metaphor you want to use for the bindings. If you don't want it there, make us not need it. How are you doing? Hungry? Thirsty? Need anything? I love Cecilia. <laughs> I'm, I'm good. Okay. I need to go talk with my other friend now. So... Where should I go? Uh, I'll you... get a room at the tavern. Okay. See if I can get them to give me back some wine money. Sure. And he walks out. Oh, what were we doing? Echo! <laughs> <laughs> so what do you want to what do you want to do with the fort exactly? Uh, I want to reinforce like we don't the orc armies does not have a boat, correct? No navies, no. No navies. So I want to reinforce the side that's to the ocean. So okay. Like if another boat come up, I might give him a suggestion like, "Hey, it would be best because we don't have y'all don't obviously don't have anything." I would probably set some ballistas there. Probably have a mercy uh, horse line for if you see people coming, they can hit the capital like within a daytime. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think I think it's he pretty much um... might be like scout out if another if they ever try this again, they know what's up. I think you have a. I think there. I think that leaves a very positive impression with Ozenkan, and he like agrees with everything you're saying. He clearly doesn't have the troops to commit to it right now, but he'll send some. No, I'm saying about later down the line. Yeah, he'll send what he can. Okay. Cool. But it's like just a quick chat, like, hey, you probably want to do this. It's about your size. Here's such such and such, such in the fort, because you know I can look at stuff and just like get a scout of the area. Mm -hmm. Do you need? Do you have anything else you want to do during that conversation? Um, the army's already heading down to the thing. I asked him about the uh, situation in uh, Cecilia's home country. Um, the uh, Azimar offensive has stalled out because of like seasonal storms. Oh, that's neat. Um, the Wanti are calling it the Wrath of the Serpents, defending their home. Mm -hmm. And I'm just curious, like, how many of the uh, Asmar forces are there and how many are left with the Wan T forces? Um, hard to say. Hard to say. Okay. Hard to say. Like, when the homeland is threatened, the entirety of the homeland goes to war for the Wan T. So, like, Theoretically, every one T is like possibly a combatant. Yeah, understandable. I'm just curious. Like, I know why we're there because they tried to mess with us in in earlier history. Well, the the orcs are going down there because the only country they really have a positive relationship with is the one T. Yeah, everybody else kind of hates them. Yeah, fortunately, the giants are very. 
animalistic. Yes. The giants don't like uh, the orcs very much. Yeah, fair enough. Um, and the giants don't have a. The giants don't also also don't have a country. They have like places they're from, but they don't have like a nation. Yeah. They're more um, like you know. They're kind of dare. They're like they fight anybody given the right pay. Yeah, they're just. This is where we are. This is giant country. So it's a bad idea to go to giant country. Yeah, and giant country can be anywhere. There's a giant. Yeah. I, it's I'm sort of the information. I'm weird acquainted with that. Yes, don't fight the giants. Um, okay, yeah. So I think you, you do have like a pretty good conversation. Yeah, it's like, yeah. Just curious what I'm stepping into before I go punch me an angel. Uh, I think I think you gotta I think you gotta worry about getting. He does offer you an opportunity to look through his personal armory. Ooh. And pick out one magical item for uh, you and one for Andrella. Hmm. Yes, this will do nicely. I want to get a sword. Would you like to roll a uh, Roll 2D 100. Trying to think in my head, like, what would that driller want, like, armor wise? Because she doesn't wear normal armor, so I need, like, protection. Mm -hmm. I think, like, braces of protection would be good. Um, just roll a couple. Let me just roll a bunch of magic items. Okay. Ooh, I got pretty high. Yeah, um,. Because you've been with Andrella the longest of any of the other people, because you were with her before yeah, 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 yeah. the siege and stuff. You know that, like, so her dragon scales give her some level of protection. They're they're kind of hardy and, and um, block yeah. blows and stuff. But, uh, yeah, she's not very good at wearing armor. Yeah, because um, I don't So maybe armor. things like, yeah, bracers of defense or a um, robe that adds to AC, things like that would probably be most beneficial to her. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking in my head. You don't use a shield either. That's what's like, you know. Yeah. Hold on. Andrea, we need you to take a dip in Paladin. What? Take a dip in Paladin to call that armor. <laughs> like, here you go. You're a warrior princess. Go. <laughs> okay. I need... Um... Hold on. Uh, I need three. Wait, you rolled three D one hundreds, right? I rolled two. One more. Can you roll one more? Yeah. Okay. Ah, ninety. Jeez. An immovable rod. Sorry, what? An immovable rod. rod. They, they That's work pretty better. Good. Like yeah. they work better in pairs because you can climb a wall. Just. I love doing that because it's silly, but yeah, it's practical. Dust of sneezing and choking. Ooh. Well, fortunately. Writing Titan, these yeah. down. Yeah, I'm, I'm typing. And an elemental gym. Now that one. What? What's? What's an immovable immovable rod? It's literally a rod that you click a button on it and it cannot be moved. Mm -hmm. Meaning, no matter where it, it is. Set it in the air. However oh. You want. Like, it's good for reinforcing doors, but, you know, you kind of don't want to leave it there. But if you can find two immovable rods, you can climb anything, in theory. Because uh -huh. you can activate it. And then, like, pull yourself up and activate the other one. And uh -huh. activate the other one. Uh -huh. They're pretty sweet, actually. Yeah. It's a pretty powerful magic item. The dust, the sneezing, and coughing might come uh down the line later sneezing and choking yeah because we're fighting um, dead, so they're not going to be good maybe later on yeah i'm surprised yeah. there isn't a plus one weapon on this elemental bake gym, it definitely. bake it into a muffin and when we find uh 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 oh wait do liches eat give me give me one more d100 please Ooh, 97. We just keep going up. I'm not sure if higher is good or low is good. <laughs> um, 
There is also a medallion of thoughts. Medallion of thought. That one I don't know. I don't know what that one does either. Medallion of thought. Yeah. Huh. Wind fan, ABCD. Ooh, it's in the uh, it's in the roll twenty. It has three charges. While wearing it, you can use action to spend one charge to cat the text thoughts from it. The medallion uh -huh. regains one D charge at dawn. Uh -huh. huh, that's a neat uncom like that's good for interrogation. Like, are you lying to me? So yeah, you can pick two of those items to keep. Okay, two. Um, I would probably take the immovable rod and the the gym. Uh, what kind of element? Oh yeah, uh, what kind of element is a gem? Roll one d six. Okay. Or one d four, excuse me. One d four. Could that could be? Oh well, I forgot to put the roll. That could be our distraction. It is a water gem. Some of the war element like, could be good. Uh, well, you're thinking about what you want to pick. Um, let's jump over to um, Andrella again. Yeah. Um, there's Came a bunch of humans and half elves. And looking. Yeah, at this situation. Yeah, and at the head of them is um, Sophia carrying her a banner. And she just like looks at you and just nods. And then suddenly everyone starts freaking out and mobbing you. And they're like Ow. running up and they're like they're like like pr like prostrating before you and like grabbing at your cloak and like trying to kiss your hand and just like things are happening. Um, am I gonna get hurt? Am I gonna? Am I at risk of getting like knocked over? Make an exterior saving throw. Oh shit! I shouldn't have asked. <laughs> Eight. So you you kind of get like pulled down a little bit, and maybe part of your dress rips. Um, and then people start freaking out about that, and like one guy, get, the guy that like ripped your dress, starts getting beat up. They, they, they like all stop and he's just like clutching this like little piece of fabric like to his chest he's like 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 has like frostbite on his nose and looks terrible yeah because like people touching me you still got a little bit of frost on me that's probably not super good feeling wait I'm, is this like a uh Oh my god, you're famous and cool situation? Or like a, oh my god, it's you, I need to beat you up situation? It's like, oh my god, uh, oh my god, you're famous and cool and you're going to save my life. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. okay. Welcome to be the rock star. And he like, he like starts to speak. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. And he like, tr like, like is going to like hold it out to you, but it's like, I'm, I'm touching this. And I want to keep it, but I know it's not polite, and so he like holds it out to you. It's fine. Um, I let him keep it. Sophia. Thank you. She like walks up. Yeah. What's going on? They're looking for the angel of the mountains. So what the deal is with the flag? Yep. Okay. What's this angel of mountains? And then the little, the, the boy, the man who's like clutching the thing. The angel of the mountains is the true queen of Blossom oh. Island. Oh no. Sophia, what have you done? I didn't do anything. They came looking for you. They oh. were starving. Oh. Oh, and I like to actually take stock of the people. They look terrible. They're like all war refugees. Oh. Like most of them aren't wearing shoes. Um, like you can see one, like the man, 
like now that you look at him like the man is has like frostbite not only on his like nose but on his like ears and there's like there's like red stuff on the ground from his feet bleeding mm -hmm. i i turn and i find Taman. Taman. he's just standing there stunned Taman. Taman, i have to make a request for refugees to be received he just like nods Will and then be received I, I don't see why not okay where can i tell him to go Tell them to go to the city center. I'll have healers there right away. The monk temple? Okay. Um, everybody, follow me. We're going to go get some healing and some food, maybe, and stuff. Come, and I, I'm going to... They all say something very, very bad celestial. Oh, no. Like, like it just sounds terrible, but it, it sounds... It, it It's either... It's like the queen has this. spoken, or like, <laughs> is it like high pitch? Know that people crack like their voices, like oh yeah. Oh, it's like I it's like the queen has spoken, or something like that. It's like it's oh. either the queen has spoken or the goddess has spoken, and it's unclear which. Oh, boy. <sighs> oh boy. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes. I just kind yes. of have Sophia with me, and Tim is with me. I'm like let your, uh, fame grow. Okay. Yeah, All right. Okay. Well, all these people need taken care of, so we'll take. We'll do. We'll, we'll start. We'll start there. <sighs> like a little, like suddenly a little girl like reaches up and like touches the hem of your dress. Hi, little girl. You're, you're the angel, right? I am an Avamar, yes. But you're the angel of the mountains, right? I mean, I'm looking at Sophia. Uh, so, no problems. Hold on a second. All right, uh, are we good? Yes, we're yeah. good. Sorry. And I'm looking okay, at Sophia, and I'm like, I don't know what the lore of the Angel of the Mountains even is. Uh, roll history. Oh, I might know what the lore of this is. Wow. Um, uh, the Angel of the Mountains. Lady of Winter kind of get squished together sometimes. Okay. So the Angel of the Mountains is a, a twist off the Lady of the Mountains who was like the first queen, the first sorceress queen to come down out of the mountains and unite the tribes of Vassan land. Mm -hmm. um, the Lady of Winter, the, the Angel of Winters is like the lady that in basically starts and ends winter, the time of change in the Azamari like like calendar. And she's like not quite a solar, but she's like been represented as one. She's like more primal than that. She's just a force. Mm -hmm. Like a being that exists. And you're getting likened to both of these things. Okay. Um I probably have my scepter. By the way. Do you show them? Mm -hmm. I mean, I carry it around. Yep, that point, yeah. I think they all look at it and they, they say, that's not, that's not the scepter. Sorry, what? Remember, you used the charges on it and it transformed? Oh, yeah. Did you Volusia activate? Wait, when did that happen? It changed. It's different now. It's just, it looks slightly different. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, but like anybody that looks at it knows it's different. It's not like. I didn't remember that. It's okay. I remember yeah, that. Yeah, it went from like a mahogany wood base to like an ash wood base or something. Yeah, it went like, it went like, it went like darker in color. Yeah. So, um, 
I'll just tuck it into my belt. I don't know. I've probably got a spot that I put yeah, she, it. They, they, they look at it and said, did, did something happen to it? The little girl says it. Um, well, I had to use magic to defend myself. And so you, so you, the magic may have fused with it in a way that made it look a little different. You're a sorceress. Yes. One of the guys in the background is like, witchcraft. <laughs> I think she just like just starts hugging like your legs because she's like tiny. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and I, I press to digitate her queen. <laughs> Everyone starts freaking out and you lead these people back to get healing. Okay. And I'll press to digitate people clean in the process. Still not acting like a queen yet, but <laughs> I think you feel a little overwhelmed here. It's fine. Uh, yeah, so I lead everybody back to the monastery. Okay. Lily, conversation mm -hmm. with um, Vana before we go. Yeah, uh, so yeah, I come into my room. Um, uh, Vana in there? Yeah. Okay. Did you ever open that bundle you had, by the way? No, I've just been carrying it around. <laughs> okay, I'm just checking. <laughs> Awkwardly. <laughs> so I want to tell you what it you're is. You're, like, talking to Odo, and you're, like... <laughs> hold, just, yeah, just hold, <laughs> holding a thing under my arm. Awkwardly shifting it to the other arm. Yeah, yeah just occasionally, yeah. And... Yeah, it's okay, yeah, like, holding it here, occasionally moving it around. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I co come to my room, shut the door. Um, like, probably just, like, probably just give, like, a... <sighs> okay. Hi, how are, uh, how are you? I'm okay. Good, good. Uh, do you want to see what this is with me? Sure. Okay. I like, walk over to like a, like the table or whatever, set it down, and, like start to like completely unwrap it. Yeah. Um. It. Yeah. It's, it's very bright, shiny metal. Or, or it looks like it's metal, um, but then you, it's like not like shaped. It looks really organic the way it's shaped. Um, it looks like a giant scale. Okay. And if you flip it over on the back, there's like straps as if it's a shield. Oh. And it's a giant silver scale. Oh. 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 What do I have now? Just a regular buckler or whatever? Mm -hmm. yeah 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 cool awesome uh, yeah so i like, like try to pick it up yeah yeah i totally like pick it up and like just like oh it like, hums like when you touch it like it almost sings to you uh it sounds like it sounds like scales moving across sand huh does it feel like yeah, it like tingles. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah, I slip it on my arm and does it, f how does it feel when it's on my arm? Does it like feel right? Uh, absolutely. Okay. Dope. Dope. Uh, so is it, uh, do I, is this, a, I guess I'll ask, is this something that, that I will have to attune with to learn what it is slash does? Yes. Okay, I will do that. Uh, I have figured out what I wish to take. Ooh. What do you want to take? I'm taking the elemental gem, and I know I really want the rod, but I'm going to take the uh, medallion of thoughts. Okay, that's interesting. Cool. Sure. And I guess I come back to the uh, the parties. Yeah. And I give the... I, Is that I, the only conversation you want to have with Vana? No. Yeah, well, okay. Well, Let's finish that scene first. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah. So I like, I'm like holding it. Uh, <laughs> I kind of like lose myself in it a second. I'm just like, oh. Ah, ah. Oh, sorry. Uh. Yeah, I'm. I, I'm kind of really excited that I have this now. It's beautiful. Yeah. I'll have to. Uh, Spend some time with it. Uh, how big is it, like, on my arm? Is it, like... 
Um, like it's I said, this big. like so, I said, it's about as it's about as t it's a it's an octagonal shaped scale. It's about as tall as a medicine ball is wide. Okay, so it's oh, kind so of like, like okay. No, like like a like one of the like big inflatable. Oh, ones. So like, oh, okay. Like a like a the ones you sit on. Yeah, like you couldn't. You oh, couldn't, it's a big scale. Like uh -huh. if it was like if it was. I thought you meant round. medicine ball like the small weight. Right. Ball. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. But no, yeah, like if you revolved it out, it would be. Okay. You couldn't put your arms around it. Got it. Okay. Cool. It's yes. probably as so it's, wide it's, as your arm is long. Okay, so yeah, it's 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 a big one. Okay, um, but it weighs nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, like it's so I think super it, light. Rather than just keep it on, I'll like because it's gonna be awkward to just have this on than if I'm not using it. Uh, so I'll like kind of like hold, I'll keep it on for another second and then I'll like slip it off and kind of like set it on the table really Leave carefully something yeah. yeah yeah just set it down really carefully like make sure it's not gonna fall or anything if it could take it i just don't want it to it's like, when, like absolutely you, yeah like you get a new fancy thing and it's like uh, mm -hmm. uh um yeah so then i like look away from it back to vana and uh right uh sorry so um so we're going to i can soon i wanted to ask you what you what you wanted to do uh, you're you're completely free from anything now so if you i owe you guys a lot i should at least come with you Okay. I, I, I just didn't want you to feel like you had to. I don't. Okay. We, we, I mean, we, we could definitely use the help, and I greatly appreciate it. Just... Yeah. Yeah, it's... want to help. It's... Yeah, it's going to be dangerous. So... Should I be scared? Have you dealt much with undead before? No. Okay. Well, that's necromancy is not very common in Everdark. Okay. So one of the few things it is not very common in Everdark, believe it or not. Yeah. Well, that's it'll probably be a little jarring at first, and I'm not expecting I'm not expecting the target of our mission to be very pleasant either. That's going to be very... I don't know if it, scary is the right word to describe it, but it just... It, there's not going to be, be many settling things there. Mm -hmm. So just, yeah, mentally, pre mentally prepare yourself for that. <sighs> okay. Um... Uh, she was a like I use two daggers or swords or whatever and I like do sneaky fighty yeah. stuff right okay. she's, a, she's a she's a drow like elite warrior okay cool okay great um she has no equipment right now though right nope all she's got is her rapier she doesn't have any equipment oh I didn't know that um <laughs> yeah, so I, think I, I guess she has like a gambeson, maybe. So I think yeah. At, at that point, then I just kind of like look up and down and like do. We should be. We should get you some stuff. I'd like that. Yeah. Okay. We'll 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 we'll, we'll do that. Definitely. We will. I will. We'll, we'll we'll go get you some stuff. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Um. How. How about after I can see where I'm at? Okay, sure. I, yeah, we don't have to say it's going to be a while, so uh, just yeah. What's we're... your mom like? Uh, it's 
warm. Uh, have, ever, have you ever dealt with sand much before? Yeah, it, it, it's... She says as she thinks of, like, volcanic sand. Very different than desert sand. Yeah. Uh, like, uh, well, you know, you know, get used to it. Uh, you'll... Can it's... I come with you? If you want to, yeah, of course. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Cool, yeah. It's very, um... I think it's beautiful. I, if you... Not everyone would, but... I'm sure it is. I'm trying to think of something like cool to say about it but i i'm blanking lily me is blanking right now on what to like say as a to describe it or whatever uh um but yeah i think just like uh, that's the scene i think that's a great place to end the scene yeah i think i think rather than trying to have me actually describe it we close on and on cecilia like it, it once once von asks to go there then cecilia like really gets into describing it i think and i think yeah mm -hmm. we, we fade on her just like starting to get very animated and talking about like the city of the serpents and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Describing magical Baghdad. Yeah. Yeah. Basically. And like the, the, like tr when you travel through the desert, you can find like oases and like it, it's, like, there's, it's a desert, but it's surrounded by water. So like, there's a weird contrast when you like transfer, move from like a desert to like a beach area and like, yeah, just going all, yeah. Into the, into the thing. Sand, um, sand, more sand. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of sand. And it's like, it's like, it's like this, the Desert of the Serpents is like many different colors. Mm -hmm. it, 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 I'm sure it's like, it's like really beautiful painting pretty. Yeah. Like, I'm not picturing like, uh, crap, I forgot the name of the desert, but like, um. The Painted Desert? Right, it was, it, like the Sahara. Painted desert. Oh. The painted desert might actually be what I'm actually wanting it to look like. Uh, Lots of sand and pretty rocks. Yeah. It's, uh, Sahara. Is it the Sahara? Sahara is just miles and miles of sand. Yeah, I think, yeah, that, that, uh, yes. The Sahara is what I was thinking it's not like. Like, or at least that's much more alive than the Sahara is. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, like, not, like, it's not just, like, you look in, it's not, like, uh, Jakku or, like, Tatooine in Star Wars or whatever. Like, where it's just, like, like and by uh, that, yep. you mean the Sahara. Desert. Yes, but by that, I mean the, yes, I, I mean the Sahara, which is just, okay, well, that's, there's sand over there, and there's sand over there, and it all looks exactly the same. And it's, like, oh, well, that, I mean, that hill's a little different, but, like, no, yeah, I'm picturing, like, Mixtures of color and then like plateaus and like uh, yeah, steps huge and piles of rocks. And yeah, yeah. It's definitely a desert like still, tiny but like cities everywhere. And yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. It's, a, it's alive in a way that other deserts aren't. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. Cool, awesome. Okay. Uh, well, we're almost out of time. Yeah. So, do we want to pick up next session? Sounds good to me. Uh, um, so. That? Before we before we go anywhere else, I want to tell you what that shield is. Oh, dope. And there's some more to it, but mechanically it is a plus one shield. Okay. Uh, and you also have complete immunity to frost damage. Ooh. Haha, <laughs> take that snow. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a shield is two AC, so this would be three? This is a three AC shield. Yeah. Okay. Duh. Which is a not insignificant bump. And complete resistance to cold is, or immunity to cold damage is pretty great. Does it have a, like a, a any sort of name? Like fancy name or whatever? Or should I just put like yeah. silver, silver scale shield or whatever? It's a scale of the silver serpent. Okay. Scale of the silver serpent. Actually, well, it's, it's a scale of Cornassus. Well, it's a scale of Cornassus. 
Yeah, uh, yeah, the scale of the Silver Serpent. So, yeah. um, like, it's very specific. It's very explicitly a scale of Cornassus. Like, this okay. is, like, not a... This is not, like, just, like, I got this off a random dragon. This is, like, <laughs> kept in the archives of the church. Yeah. Yeah, it's a big deal. Uh, does it uh, Does it weigh as much as a normal shield or, or lighter? It weighs nothing. <sighs> That's what I'm talking about. It weighs mechanical nothing. Mechanical nothing. That is uh, six weight less than a normal shield. Uh, yes. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, so I guess anything else that it... That it that comes with that we can talk about later and stuff but yeah just for mm -hmm. now I, I added one to my ec uh you're just the least mechanic you're just the least magic item rich right now i think because <laughs> i know andrella has a couple and i know echo has a couple yeah i don't think i have I anything think I besides one that <laughs> well you have your scepter and you have the ring of the ring of spell storage I, which I, are I, both huge. my amulet huh the scepter is my focus I, well, your I scepter also has a, is a magical item that does magical damage if you hit someone with it and has a magical effect. I, I do have one times. weapon <laughs> that's technically buried in the uh, ground somewhere. Yes. <laughs> yes, you have a, you have that hand. Anyway, so yeah, that was a great <laughs> session, guys. Good job. That guy yeah. We points. will we will figure out what those people want and probably leave for Ike in next session. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, good news is that the stream never dropped, so uh, it was my the router that I bought. Uh, Yay! Cool. Yay! Uh, yeah, so newer router was just... I don't know if it's like a setting in there or whatever it was, but like, yeah. So that's a thing. At least I, yeah, at least I figured it out and we don't have to worry about it dropping every whatever. Mm -hmm. um, yes. But yeah. Very cool. Uh, awesome session. Very good stuff going on. And uh, yeah, let's do our outros and stuff, and we can call it an episode. Uh, Dom, how about you start us off? Hey, my name's Move Mage. Uh, I do shenanigans all the time. Um, I think today was a good session. I, uh, I got to take a fort. Kind of, sort of. Technically, Andrea took the fort, but in character, <laughs> Echo doesn't know any better. <laughs> Sorry, Evie. Uh, but yeah, I do games. I actually, uh, my bo one of my uh, bosses at the uh, fish market was at Disney World this weekend, so I got to binge watch Luke Cage. And I thought of uh, MTO at the end. I was like, I became what I hated most. <laughs> Awesome. What? It's, it's your kind of ending. It's like you became the monster in the swamp. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And I was like, hmm, MTO would probably dig this ending on how it ended up. I have to say, this season is a pretty good season. Like, Jessica Jones started off, like, great, then dupes down, and then gets, like, really good at the end. This was just constantly good. Yeah, I watched a couple Definitely. of I watched a couple of it, and it's, it, yeah, it's Yeah, good. it's like the ending of season one felt, I mean, it felt very Superman-ish. Like, Superman, let me go get my kryptonite battle suit real quick. Right, yeah. <laughs> See how Luke selects Luthor always. Like, he has the greatest plan until the end when he loses shit. Yeah. And it's just like, <laughs> it just felt very Lex Luthor ending. <laughs> <laughs> Which is silly to have compared it to, but it was pretty accurate today. Um,. <laughs> uh, I'm probably I'm looking forward to this Friday because this a chant comes to uh, Netflix. If you haven't heard, it's the uh, thing by the creators of Family Guy, not Family Guy, Simpsons and Futurama. They're taking oh. their uh, splash at the uh, genre of fantasy. Okay. To drop in episodes. <laughs> it looks good. Yeah, like it looks like it's going to be fun and silly fun, and they're not going to be censored by you know Fox. Right, yeah. Because Netflix can do what they want because they're a streaming yeah. server. That's why I'm looking forward to the new show. I'm looking forward to the next season of Voltron. And I'm looking forward to She-Ra. Or that's that's how they say She-Ra? Yeah, She-Ra. Yes, that's correct. Well, they did such a good job of Voltron. This is auto automatically probably going to be good. Yay. Cool. I, I hope it's good. And I pass the ball to the next person. Yeah, 
Awesome. Uh, Evie, how about you? Uh, hi, I'm Evie. You can find me on Twitch and Twitter at The Happy Dose. Um, so I was going to stream this Friday and play a video game. And then a TTRPG kind of got put together. There's one shot about Eclipse Phase World. And I'm kind of like, I think I'd rather do that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so actually, I might stream really late tomorrow instead. Hmm. Um, if anybody's interested in like hanging out and stuff. Um, yeah, I, I'll, I announced that on uh, Twitter. So that'd be the best way to kind of know. Um, still not sure what game. I've got a million, but <laughs> I'll have to pick one and sit down with it. Uh, aside from that, I mean, I've got my science all week. I don't think I have to do any brain surgeries this week, which is kind of nice because those take a lot. They're very exhausting. <laughs> so <laughs> that, that'll be nice to not have to do that. Um, awesome. Yeah. But yeah, I'm just I'll be around. Maybe. Very cool. Awesome. Uh, Michael, how about you? I'm good. Hello, everyone. My name is Michael. I'm the founder and lead game designer of Swift Kite Design. I designed The Circle, which is a game about magic and feelings and powers you don't fully understand. It's made without the bullshit. If you're interested in playing it, you can get it on Giant Through RPG or giving any amount of money over a dollar to my Patreon, Swift Kite Design. Um, follow me on Twitter at MTO All Pro to find out more and hear me facts poetic about games. I also have a secret project in the works that is secret, secret, secret safe, and will be announced sometime in the future. So keep an eye out for that. All right then, gotta love the announcement for the announcement. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> perfect uh cool well uh very good episode thanks y'all for hanging out with us have a great night and uh it, it, i might do stuff who knows we'll probably see y'all next week for more fair wanderings uh yeah awesome see you then bye